Morning guys, Dougie here from Australian Rural Adventures. Don't mind the kids running around in the background. Uh, you're here because you want to talk about how to mount your recovery tracks, your max tracks or your off-brand max tracks in the most aerodynamic, uh, efficient way possible. Gonna have a quick chat with this about a couple of ideas that I've had whilst mounting these very well used um, max tracks that I got for my uh, last birthday on my cheap little Subaru Forester. So the most aerodynamic way to do this would be to have no gap here at all because the air is gonna come up the windscreen and catch um, on the tracks and cause drag. First things first, gotta pick a spot for them and I've got them as far back as I humanly can and as hard over to the side as I can so that it doesn't interfere with the the door when the door's fully opened. So now what I'm going to do is there's some holes in each end, one there and one there. Sorry, it's hard to find it when I'm looking through the screen. And I'm going to drill a pilot hole. Some of you may have seen these before. This is what is called a rib nut. Rib nut. All you do to use it is you get a drill bit, the same diameter as your rib nut. Drill your hole for your rib nut. And then you get a rib nut tool. Mine is a drill attachment type. You thread the rib nut onto the rib nut tool and then you install it into your hole. Let's do it. That looks awful. I hope you found that funny. Uh, I did. <laughs> I've cleaned up um, the burrs off the outside of the hole and cleaned it up now. So it should fit perfectly. Our rib nut, yeah, just like that. But before I do install it, before I turn the um, little tool on, I'm just gonna give that area a touch up with a bit of touch up paint, just to stop the rust and maybe stop a little bit of leakage as well. A bit of wet paint will dry and seal up. Doing this left-handed whilst holding a camera is not a desirable position to be in. <laughs> the things you do to entertain your mates on YouTube. This is how it looks. This is a 18-volt uh, impact driver, uh, Ryobi. Probably the most well-used one in existence. I've impacted a few things in my life onto the Rivnut tool and then there's the rib nut uh, waiting to be installed. It's customary to uh, do it the wrong way first. And she's grabbed. Careful not to do it too hard or you pull it all the way through the roof and it was an even bigger hole and then reverse her and she should spin free and then there you go you've got a little threaded uh, hole in your roof now of your cheap Subaru well I do I don't know about you and I've got a M6 high tensile bolt here uh, which obviously fits the thread of the rib nut which is also an M6 through the hole can't find the hole first time for me it would be a good idea to carry like a socket screwdriver or a little spanner something that would be really quick the same diameter as that nut just in your driver's door pocket or something like that so that when in the unlikely event you get your Subaru stuck um, you can just jump out and just whip them off straight away. But yeah, that's, uh, that's as easy as it gets. Time to do the back one. You can see, because they're pinned down at the front now, that the back is kind of propping up a little bit, but do not fear, because you just give it a bit of a push, and they're nice and bendy, so it'll, it'll go flat. Just for my marker hole, I've just put the drill straight down, but then angled it in, in slightly, towards the front of the car, just so when I put the bolt through, um, into the rib nut, it'll pull it down in that direction.
much nicer result on that one. Um, it looks like it's got a double layer uh, of metal on this back one. Metal must be thicker in this in this part being right on the edge. One thing I should say to be cautious of is um, if you are going to attempt this yourself or this on, it's on you, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Um, but be cautious of wires. Have a think about uh, where the wires might be running uh, through the roof of your car, if, if any. Definitely something to consider when you're drilling a hole. Straighten the roof. <laughs> My roof nut tool exploded. Oh god, here we go. That little um, retaining clip there popped out <laughs> in the whole guts of this um, little unit came flying out. Thankfully, I have one of these um, weird looking um, retaining clip pliers uh, in my arsenal and I've popped them back in. Done it again. A little bit of mucking around back here, getting the hole in the right spot. I had to clear this guy off too. And I found an easier way to do it than with a spanner. Just use your impact gun. If we can line it up. And how good does she look, guys? Proper aerodynamic. Men will want to be you. Women will want to be with you. It's really on there too, you know, it's not going anywhere. You know, that's not gonna come off in a gust of wind or over corrugations or anything like that. Um, and then all you do is chuck your other one on top. Obviously undo your bolts, chuck your other one on top, bolt through the top and then nice and smooth. No wind drag, use less fuel. I am semi-considering <laughs> going side by side, uh, but then I'm, I'm fearing that the top of my car will look like an armadillo shell. So, I think that's the way it's going to be. Obviously, undoing the bolts, bolt through the top, smush her down. Yeah. And then, obviously, in the unlikely event, you get your car stuck in some sand or you need the extra help on a track, uh, just jump out. Jump out, grab your spanner or your little socket. Pop your two uh, bolts out and then you've got them there ready to rock. Cheers guys, give us a thumbs up.